anything baked is better with Brennan's. Today's bread today. This fella's not on. Because I didn't plug him in yet. <laughs> Sean's Christmas lights have always wowed his community. He's just truly one of the best people I know. So Tesco wanted to return the favour, bringing in their elves to help the street become more Christmas. Come more Christmas. Welcome back to the third half, everybody. Miss Julie J. Thanks so much, Tommy. Your next guest is the amazing Shane Lowry. It's off for two. How are you? We kind of got the same shoes. Yeah, I, was, I was looking at did that. Did you one. just win win in Dubai or something? Abu Dhabi, yeah. How much? Yeah. How much did you win? <laughs> um, it'll keep me going for a while. Anyway. Arrow, come on, how much did you win? Uh, won uh, just over a million euros. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's that's great. <laughs> um, I remember hearing you talk. You're from Offaly. I am. Yeah. And I remember this is the. Poshest sounding, <laughs> <laughs> awfully accent I've ever it's heard. It's funny, the only thing I remember you, I remember watching one of your DVDs before, and all you did was slag off awfully anyway. So. I, I only slag the places I love, you know. <laughs> uh, you must be on the road oh, a fierce yeah. amount. Yeah, I'm probably at home only, God, I'd say 15, 20 weeks a year max, yeah. Wow. And is the, uh, is the attention to detail in golf? Because we, we were watching golf tournaments, you know, and Oh, he's working on his backswing, or he's moved his hip an inch this way, and he's lifted his head. That the, like it just seems like to be no crack in it. Do you know, <laughs> <laughs> do you know that you're so focused on that there's whatever happened to it, like a good awfully man got just give it a lash. <laughs> you know, um, I, th I think that's what I kind of do, but uh, yeah, look. There's no doubt about it, golf can be seen as a bit of a boring game at times, but I mean, I'm very lucky that I do do it for a living. I'm very, I, I love it, like, I, and I've, I've grown up loving it. Like, I started playing when I was about 12, and, uh, you know, to this day, I still, you know, really That's really it. amazing now, in fairness, to have only started playing when you were 12 mm. and to have won a million <laughs> just in one tournament. That's... Yeah, like, I was, I was late coming to it, but I, I did play, like... I grew up in a little place called Clara in Offaly and... Brian, we, uh, Brian Cowan Country. Brian Cowan Country, yeah. <laughs> Clara is, is one of the only places it has an aqueduct. It is kind of a bridge going through the centre of the town, isn't there? There is, yeah. And there's nothing, there's no reason for it, like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> No reason. There's no river. There's no train. There's just you can't walk across it. There's just ah, that's the bridge. Yeah, that's. The... It's like having a roundabout in the middle of the field. Do you know what I mean? All... No one's going to use it. Uh, it's so funny because it's true. It is true. I've driven, I've driven underneath and going, what the fuck is that bridge? It makes no sense. Like. Um, uh, the uh, yeah, that, that's a uh, that's a meteoric rise that you had. Yeah, I I started like I played a bit of pitch and putt in Clara with a little uh, pitch and putt course there, and I um, then they built a golf course about I think it's about five miles from our house, a place called Lesker Hills, and uh, I just joined it, and I God, I, I just love playing, and um, I was very lucky that. No, very lucky that both my parents allowed me to continue to play because when I finished school, I, like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I uh, didn't exactly have an unbelievable even cert. I, you know, went to college for a couple of months anyway and um, all, I wanted awfully, to do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all I wanted to do was play golf. And uh, yeah. you know, I was very lucky I was allowed to do it and obviously um, it's worked out well and, and I'm here now. I'm always interested in what happens to people who start earning money and who don't come from money, and how they cope with the money. And it's almost like, oh, it's bad manners to talk about it, but it's a real thing. I 
I, I was on the dole till I was 26, right? And I, from the age of 26 to, to age of about 35, I made a fucking load of money. Uh, <laughs> and I, I spent every cent of it. I just, I, it was just like, I was, I was more comfortable having no money. <laughs> Do you know the kind of way? Yeah, yeah. It was a hassle. I was yeah. going, oh, jeez, uh, will we buy a boat? <laughs> 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 I, I bought a boat. I bought. I bought a mobile home. I swear. I, I, that, that a fella delivered from Germany. He couldn't even get it up the road. And I, but I just. I just. I, so I'm, my, my curiosity is, with, with you, with yourself. How, how do you cope with the change? Um. Like first of all, there is a lot of money in golf. I'm like I'm very lucky that I'm uh, well able to. You know, I, I play play good enough to make enough to you know support my family and whatever um but there is a very small amount of people in the whole world that actually make good money out of golf it's probably i would say there's probably 400 i'd say yeah in the whole world so like but what i do with my money like like i, I didn't come from money um yeah. you know my parents borrowed money to help me play golf when i was younger and um so like I try and look after my family as best I can. I look. I've bought myself some nice things. Like I've, I've wasted a few quid on on a couple of cars. Um, but uh, you know, I, I've got I a young family now. I can tell you, Bridge and Clara. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a young family now. I've, well, I've got a little girl and I've got a wife and I have a house and I'm. You know, that's what I do. And look, when yeah, I won. A million euros. I didn't go and buy anything flash. I went out and actually didn't buy buy myself. I did. I bought myself a pair of shoes that I was looking at, um, and I bought my wife some a pair of shoes or something as well. So it was kind of. I'd say she was delighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus, thanks for that, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put them with all the other fucking shoes I have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you weren't passing a jeweler shop or anything, no. Um, do your family come out on the road with you at all? Uh, my mum and dad, and yeah, yeah. yeah um, my yeah, my dad comes a good few times a year. My mum comes out then with him, like maybe like a few times. Uh, my brother comes out a bit. He caddied for me last year for a few weeks. He's sitting up there in, in the audience. Uh, um, Sponger. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Couldn't swing a cat. <laughs> um, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah, so they do. They come out. That's, that's they, come out quite a bit. <laughs> they come out quite a bit. They do. Great. Yeah. Great. So, it's great to be able to, you know, bring them out and like, I suppose they get great pride in seeing me out playing. You know, against the best players in the world. Um, do you? Can you sometimes believe it that it's happening? If you're standing on a golf course in Japan or California, and you're thinking, Jesus, this is real. Yeah. Like it's. Uh, Sometimes I pinch myself and I'm like, wow. Uh, especially when I see, you know, get to knock around like the best golfers in the world and play with the best golfers in the world, and I'm I'm in it. So. And is it a di is it a totally different lifestyle? Does everybody arrive in their private jets? No. Uh, the lucky few get to have their own jets. Um, there's probably a handful of lads that have their own planes, and then the rest kind of just fly. Harrington know. has a plane, doesn't he? He used to. All right. Yeah. Would you have to say he gives a lift? No, I actually. <laughs> I tell you what, if he, if he had one now, uh, it'd be great. But uh, no, I've I, I've become very friendly with him the last five years since he since he got rid of his plane. But um, yeah, um, it, feel, it feels like a very a, almost an unbelievable life. It's almost a kind of winning streak life, <laughs> isn't it? Um, it seems like that from the outside. Yeah, like I I always count myself very lucky. I, I really do, and and I suppose. It's easy to do that when you're doing well, but when, yeah, yeah. when you're doing not so well, you still have to count yourself lucky that um, you know you've got a pretty good life and a pretty good job. And yeah, I, I try and kind of yeah, I try and give myself a little check every now and then, to make sure I'm I'm not getting too uh, you know too caught up in myself or or anything. How, how bad is it when your when your game is not 
happening in your... Yeah, it's, it's not easy. I mean, like, it's hard it's such to... A, it seems like it's such a precise game yeah. as well, isn't it? and it's hard to sit here, like, and, and talk about the bad times because you kind of start saying, you know, how unlucky you are and whatever. But um, I, I say that if the, if the highs weren't as good, if the highs weren't as high, it wouldn't be worth doing for the lows because it's fairly low when you're out there on your own and when things aren't going well, it's, it's not easy, so, yeah. Are you very... You must be very driven, are you? Are you kind of ruthless like that? Yeah, or? I think I am. I think I'm... I think I'm quite determined and... Uh, I think I'm quite um, gritty when it comes down to it and when it comes to, like, the business end of a, of a tournament when I, when I have a chance, I think I'm OK, yeah. Are you, are you good to yourself, do you think? Are you, are you easy on yourself? No. Not at all. Um... No, I'm I'm quite hard on myself when it comes to when I'm not performing. Yeah. In what what way? Ah, I get quite down and um, you know, not worried. I suppose worried's not really the right word, but um, you know, you feel like you let people down and you feel like you let yourself down and your family and friends or whatever. But it's hard going when you're <coughs> when you're at yourself like that, isn't it? It's hard to, especially if it's in a solo game. Yeah, you know. You're you're there on your own, and and it's kind of uh, you know you need to make the decisions yourself out there. And when you're when you're harder on yourself, it's hard to kind of get back up when you get so down on yourself. Yeah. And if, and if if you sense that there's something missing, a timing thing or a maybe not a focus thing, but for some reason that you're not in control of, it's just not happening. Yeah, there's loads of times like that. Like it's. Golf's a funny game because you actually lose way more than you win. You know, like, I've talked about it before, like, I, I had a great chance to win the US Open a few years ago, which would have been huge for me, and, um, you know, I kind of threw it away down the, down the last nine holes, and uh, second in probably one of the biggest tournaments, well, I, you know, probably, the, I think, the biggest yeah. tournament in the world. Um, you t someone that gives it to you at the start of the week you kind of you would of think about taking it and then you, you go away so dejected that it actually I'd say it took me a solid six months to get over that um, because I felt like I threw it away so much you know and that's all in your head yeah like I went to not went to I tried a couple of different psychologists and stuff and just I couldn't couldn't get my form back or couldn't do anything yeah so I was sports psychologists or yeah right okay. yeah so it's a hard, it's a, and, it's a and then hard you end up like you know and you end up being miserable at home and you end up it's just it's just not nice like you know yeah, yeah. not that I'm not nice but it's like you know you just end up being pissed off all the time littlest things piss you off so that, that's tough for everybody yeah it's yeah tough going. for everybody especially the people you're living with yeah um, can't be easy for them but um I think I've turned the corner a little bit the last sort of six, eight months. Um, but it's funny because golf is a strange game and you kind of, it determines your mood. And well, it does for me, it determines my mood in the evenings an awful lot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a hard kind of, it's a hard way to live your life. Is, could you have a sense though of um, money being made <clears throat> so that you can say, okay, I don't really have to worry about. Uh, providing for my family so that takes a pressure off me and now I can go out and just play is do you have a sense of that at all um see I, I don't think I've ever I've never played for money like I've never money has never driven me uh success has kind of driven me I think I don't think uh, like I'm not at a stage like I'm 31 so I've got hopefully another good 10 15 yeah. 20 years whatever playing golf and I don't think I'm at a stage yet where i can't worry about the money or okay. you know I still have to like provide for my family or whatever and like I'm very lucky that I do and look you get to do what you love for a few years if nothing else and I'm yeah. lucky that I get to do what I love and, and that's a to make blessing quid. oh you know, it's yeah uh, that's yeah. great my mother will tell you that it's from the pair she's saying <laughs> but, yeah you never know Shane it's been a real Thanks pleasure talking to you it's my full thank you Great. I remember seeing you in the rain in the Irish Open. I remember, right?
Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see our next guest performing at the Ulster Fla in July. Would you please welcome Zoe Conway, Martin O'Connor, and Donald Lunny? <laughs> If you could send free chocolate in secret to someone special. Maybe that friend who always makes you laugh. Or just someone that needs a little lift. With Cadbury Secret Santa, you can send free chocolate secretly from a poster. Like this one. This one. And this one. I'll be popping up all over the country. Look out for a poster near you. 